good conversation going now. We have radiant cash management on our radar today. The company reported a pretty modest revenue growth in the first quarter. But remember, this is coming off a high base. The margin has also contracted to around 22%. And what we had earlier was closer to around 26%. So let's welcome the management now. David Devas Ahayam, the chairman and managing director of radiant cash management, joins us on the show now to take some questions. Uh, sir, uh, sir, thanks a lot for joining us. This is Pavitra. Uh, if I can just come to, you know, what we can expect on the revenue front. I know this uh, looks a little bit tepid because of the high base, but could you guide us to, you know, what we can expect for the full year for all of FI24? I know earlier you've done around 20 to 22 percent. Uh, is that what we should be expecting this time around? Uh, Jayhind India and uh, uh, good morning, ladies. It's kind of you to have invited me here. Well, before... Um, I answer your question. I'd like to also make an announcement. Uh, the Radiant Cash Management Services uh, Limited has also now entered into the segment of valuables logistics. That is into the movement of uh, diamond, bullion, and jewelry. And uh, consignments have started moving last week, so I feel it's an important uh, announcement I need to make to, uh, to the body public and to our shareholders. The reason why we got into this segment was that it's very contiguous and synergetic with what we are doing. And it requires the same kind of cash funds and the same infrastructure in terms of safes and walls. And additionally, uh, we also realized that we are already doing the cash pickup for about 1,000 dwellers. So we realized that there are just a few players, one or two players who are organized players who are working in this segment. And uh, they are also currently engaged with about uh, 4,000 to 6,000 dwellers. While the available uh, number of dwellers who are registered with the Bureau of um, uh, Indian Standards is about a lakh and 35,000 dwellers. So it's a huge market opportunity. And we felt that this is an area that we need to get into. And therefore, we now have the Radiant Valuables Logistics yeah. Division as well. So, now coming um, on uh, to your question. No, Mr. Okay. Mr. Deva, Deva Sahayam, uh, Mr. Deva Sahayam, if I could just uh, interrupt over here. Since you brought up this point, we were going to come to it a little later. But since you brought it up right now, let's complete this picture uh, on this new business segment that you have started. Uh, just give us a sense on, uh, I think the scalability should be pretty quick. As you said, you are already sort of moving cash for a lot of these jewelers. Uh, you know, in the past, you have said that you could be growing 20 to 22% every year. Now, is that a target you have for this year itself? And this is that from the base business? Or are you also factoring in increased contribution from this new business in the current year itself? No, it is essentially from the base business that we are looking at this 19% growth and this is additional to that, that we are looking at. So I'm not putting any numbers to it. The main thing that I would like to focus on is that uh, we are really focusing on quality logistics, something that the market itself, there was a demand and we found that uh, many of the uh, clients have been wanting a very high quality service as what is available in the Western world. And therefore, we are focusing on that. And I'm sure that this will also add to the further, to the top line. Sure. But sir, and some idea of revenue opportunity, market size, just some idea of how, how much this business can maybe contribute maybe two years, three years down the line. Well, in terms of, uh, we do not have any specific statistics. But what I'd like to say is that approximately from about uh, four to 6,000 dwellers, the revenue that's getting generated is about 400 crores per annum. So the available market size is very large. There is an informal market uh, management which is currently going on where individuals are doing the transportation as you all are familiar with. But that is fast changing, particularly with the second generation which has come in, largely educated abroad, who are looking forward sure. to high quality logistics in this segment. And that's what we are focusing on providing now. Okay. This four to 600 crore, uh, the market size that you've shared, could you elaborate a little bit more on that and will it require investments from Radiant Cash Management? Increased investments and if yes, could you quantify that? 
Uh, the market size, as I specified, in terms of the number of dweller, uh, dwellers that are currently there, registered with the Bureau of Indian Standards, oh. are a lack in 35,000. And okay. uh, of that, only about six to 8,000 dwellers are currently being tapped by the existing players. So we also have an advantage in the sense that currently uh, we are already doing with about 1,000 dwellers the cash pickup. And additionally, we have a presence in over 14,000 pin codes. Got it. So uh, therefore, I'm... moving in that direction, you know, uh, to provide last mile connectivity will be very easy for us compared to the current outsourcing which is happening. And if you do get the business from the 1,000 jewelers for whom you're already doing a cash pickup, what could be the opportunity? Have, are they currently using the logistic services of your competitors? Um, just talk a little bit more on that and the investments. Uh, in terms of the investment, uh, you know, we already have existing infrastructure in terms of safes and walls. So we don't really require any new infrastructure. And it's minimal uh, capex intensive. Also, we already have vehicles. We have close to about 840 vehicles as of now. And as you know, from the fresh issue, we are buying 220 vehicles. So much of that is also going in this direction of the new business that you are focusing on. Okay, got that. This is on sort of the new, um, you know, space that you're getting into, sir. But if you can also talk about, you know, just the cash van business, um, that's all very sort of muted uptick this time around. And it's also weighed on margins a little bit. So can you tell us what we can expect on that front for full FI24? And also on the margins, what can we expect? Because I do understand because of this foray into the, uh, you know, the diamond bullion kind of segment, there has been a margin hit this time. So if you could just take us through your outlook on the revenue and margin front. Yes, there is always a gestation period before a business really takes off. So some initial expenditure is bound to happen, which might have some margin pressure. But we are also focusing, as I said, on the cash and transit business and the dedicated cash vans, which earlier was hardly uh, contributing about 4 to 5 percent of our business. Now, already we have almost doubled the size of cash vans that we have in this segment. And uh, the other important area which I'd like to cover is that the aspect of direct lines. Now, the entire industry together is doing approximately about 1.5 lakh outlets, while the available opportunity is about 30 lakh outlets. That means we have close to another about 28 lakh outlets available. And these are largely those clients who are based on the nationalized banking sector where this outsourcing has still not started. So we are now realizing when we go to the market that there are so many of them who are not even aware that the service exists. And a large number of them are coming back as direct clients to us. So we see large opportunities ahead, though I still conservatively say that we are planning to grow at about 20% this year, year on year. Okay. But I feel that we'll be definitely doing much better. Okay. All right, uh, sir. We will leave it on that note. Thank you for joining in. Uh, good chatting with you.